every second counts when you're behind the wheel and you have to come to a sudden stop. What you know about your brakes can save your life. And our auto guy, Brian Bowersock with West Escondido Auto, is here with the 411 on what you need to, to be able to maintain your anti-lock brakes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Very good. How about you? Great. Well, with the brakes, you know, one of the things we've talked about over and over again with the different segments is, you know, if a warning light comes on, sometimes you've got a time period to do something about it. It Correct. still works, but it needs to be looked at. Correct. What about the ABS brakes? If that light goes on, do you have some time? When the ABS light actually goes on, the system goes into a default. Okay. And uh, so basically the regular brake system will work on your vehicle but the anti-lock function will not work. So it completely disengages. Comple completely disengages it. Um, and the great thing about the anti-lock system is it can actually help you when you quick stops, you know, somebody stops in front of you, which that never happens on our freeways, right? Oh, gosh, <laughs> no, like 20 times a day uh, just getting to work. Correct. Um, we'll prevent the vehicle from skidding out of control, um, keeps it in a straight line stopping. And the way this system kind of works is there's actually a wheel sensor on each wheel, and it talks to a small computer that will then pulse the wheels if a wheel starts to lock up. If it knows one's locking up, it will actually relieve fluid pressure to it and allows it to roll versus locking up. And a vehicle that does not skid stops way faster than a vehicle that does skid. And what else can happen? I mean, can you turn side to side if your ABS brakes aren't working? Yes, correct. If you get wheels that lock up, often a car will go into a sideways skid depending on how the driver steers it, depending on how well of a driver you are, obviously. So it can be pretty dangerous. Absolutely, absolutely, without question. But you said maintenance is key to that, that yes, while the light comes on, you want to see right away, but there's more to it just than waiting till the light comes on. Correct. Um, as far as maintaining the system, there's not a whole lot to do except for keeping the brake fluid flushed in, in your brake system. The reason why is the valve assembly actually works off of brake fluid. It okay. flows through it. So let's take a look. Here are the things that people need to keep in mind. The ABS systems require minor maintenance, but you have to stay on top of it. Correct. And then, as you said, you have to flush the brake fluid. And then you want only qualified people to work on your ABS. Why is that? Everything's so complicated now with the cars. Well, it is an electronic system, um, and also some of them operate on higher pressures. So it's, it's very important. I mean, you, you could get injured or you could damage the system. This, the small components we have here, there's about $1,500 worth of components there. So wow. that's why the maintenance thing's kind of important. Maintenance is very cheap to keep uh, from having to replace these units. But I suspect this is one of those things when people go, well, it's ABS, it's not life critical, my car is still going to work, shouldn't do it. No, you shouldn't because um, in the event of a quick stop or something, this could actually prevent you from having an accident. It does work. All right, Brian, thank you so much. All good no information. If you'd like more information about that, you can log on to our website at fox6.com. We also have a place where you can click on and ask Brian your own questions. We'll